welcome to the maths class so in last class we have discussed uh, some problems from exercise 10.2 so now fourth one find find the values of x and y so that So that the vectors two i plus three j is equal to x r cap plus y j cap. So here the question is find the values of x and y so that the vectors. I cap plus 3 J cap is equal to X I cap plus Y J cap. So here given. So here they have given two vectors and they are equal. So 2 I plus 3 J is equal to X I plus Y J cap. So here. So the corresponding components of i, j, k are equal. So here the corresponding component of i is two. Therefore, x value is two. Then y. So here three is there. Therefore, y is equal to three. So here they have given two vectors and the vectors are equal. Then the corresponding components of these vectors i, j, k uh, components are equal. So x is equal to two and y is equal to three. Therefore, the required required values of x and y are two comma three. The next one. Initial point two comma one and terminal point minus five comma seven. So here the question is find the scalar and vector components of the vector. With initial point two comma one and terminal point minus five comma seven, right? So here they have given initial point and terminal point. So here initial point. So consider P vector. Initial point vector P is equal to two i cap plus One J cap. Then terminal point. Terminal point that is vector Q is equal to minus five I cap plus seven J cap. Right. Now find out vector P Q. 
So vector PQ is equal to x2 minus x1 into I cap plus y2 minus y1 into j cap. So here this is initial point, right? So this one will be x1 y and this one x2 y. Now substitute the values. So x2 value is minus 5 and minus as it is then x1 value is 2. I cap plus y2 value is 7 minus y1 value is 1. J cap. Now minus 5 minus 2 is minus 7. I cap plus 7 minus 1 that is 6. 6 J cap. So this is vector TQ. So here the question is find the scalar and vector components of the vector with initial point and terminal point. So here we have to find the scalar and vector components. So scalar components scalar components of vector P, Q are so here scalar components means we have to write the coefficient of i, j and k. So here the scalar components are minus 7 and 6. Minus 7 and 6. And, and the vector components and the vector components of vector p, q, r so this one will be vector component and this one. So minus 7 i cap comma 6 j cap. So scalar components means we have to write the coefficient of i, j, k. So here k is not there. So write down minus 7 i 6. And the vector components of p, or vector p, q are minus 7 i and 6 j cap. The next one. Then vector A plus vector B plus vector C. 
see some means we have to add these all three factors so now if factor a is i cap minus 2j cap plus k cap plus then vector b is minus 2i cap plus 4j cap plus 5k cap then vector c i cap minus 6j cap minus 7k now separate the uh, i terms one side and j terms k terms so here the coefficient of this i cap is 1 then here minus 2 then plus 1 this is for i cap then j cap minus 2 plus 4 minus 6 then 1 Plus five, plus sorry minus seven into k. Now this one plus one is two, two minus two is zero. So this will be zero. Then minus two plus four will be plus two. Minus six will be minus four j. Then one plus five will be six. Six minus Seven will be minus one k cap. So the sum of vector a plus vector b plus vector c is equal to minus four j cap minus k cap. Just we have to add the three vectors. Vector a plus vector b plus vector c. The next one. That is vector a is equal to i cap plus j cap plus two k cap. Right. So here the question is find the unit vector in the direction of the vector a. So here we have to find the unit vector. Right. So we have given vector a is equal to I cap plus J cap plus two K cap. So here they are asking find the unit vector. So unit unit vector means the vector whose magnitude is one, right? So to find the unit vector, the formula is A cap is equal to vector A divided by magnitude of vector A. So here they have given already vector A. So here we have to find the magnitude of vector A. So magnitude of vector A is equal to so the magnitude formula is x two minus x one whole square then y two minus y one whole square plus z two minus z one whole square. So here Only one uh, vector is there. Vector A is equal to i cap z uh, i cap plus z cap plus two k cap is there, right? So here we can consider zero. 
right? So here 1, 1 minus 0. Then here also the coefficient of j is 1. Then the coefficient of k is 2. Right. So this will be the magnitude of vector a. So here 1 square plus 1 square plus 2 square. That is equal to 1 plus 1 plus 4. Square root of 6. This is the magnitude of vector a. Right. Now we have to find the unit vector. So the formula is a cap is equal to vector a divided by magnitude of vector a. So we have vector a value is i cap plus j cap plus 2 k cap divided by magnitude of vector a is square root of 6. Now 1 by root 6 i cap plus 1 by root 6 j cap plus 2 by root 6 k. So this is unit vector. A cap is the unit vector. The next one. unit vector in the direction of the in the direction of vector pq Vector PQ, where P and Q are the points 1, 2, 3 and 4, 5, 6 respectively. Right. So here they have given P point and Q point. Given P point. We have to write this P point in vector form. Vector P is equal to 1 I cap plus 2 J cap plus 3 K cap. Then vector Q. Vector Q is equal to 4 I cap plus 5 J cap plus 6 K cap. Right. So we have find the unit vector. So the unit vector formula is A cap is equal to magnitude, uh, sorry, vector A is divided by magnitude of vector A. So here we have to find the unit vector in the direction of the vector PQ. So we need the unit vector of this PQ. Then vector PQ divided by magnitude of vector PQ. So here we have to find the vector PQ and magnitude of vector PQ. So first find out vector PQ. Vector PQ is equal to x2 minus x1 i cap plus y2 minus y1 j cap plus z2 minus z1 k cap. Now substitute the values. So 
this will be x2 y2 z2 and this one x1 y1 z1 right x2 value is 4 minus 1 i cap plus 5 minus 2 j cap plus 6 minus 3 k cap so this is vector pq vector pq is equal to 4 minus 1 is 3 i cap plus 3 j cap plus 3 k cap so this is vector pq vector pq is equal to 3 i cap plus 3 j cap plus 3 k cap now find out the magnitude of vector pq so magnitude of vector pq is equal to square root of 3 square plus 3 square plus 3 square right so this will be 9 plus 9 plus 9 27 square root of 27 this can be written as 3 root 3 because here 9 into 3 so 9 into 3 can be written as 3 root 3 so this will be magnitude of vector p right then we have to find the unit vector in the direction of the vector p q so here vector p q the unit vector in the direction of in the direction of vector pq vector pq is equal to vector pq divided by magnitude of vector pq so here vector pq value is this one 3 i cap plus 3 j cap plus 3 k cap divided by magnitude of vector pq that is 3 root 3 right now 3 i cap divided by 3 root 3 then 3 divided by 3 root 3 j cap plus 3 divided by 3 root 3 k cap. So here 3 3 get cancelled. Then remaining term 1 by root 3 i cap plus 1 by root 3 j cap plus 1 by root 3 k cap. So this is the unit vector in the direction of vector p. So the next one.
in the direction of the vector of the vector vector a plus vector b so here the question is for given vectors they have given vector a and vector b and find the unit vector in the direction of the vector a plus vector b so the ve given vector a is equal to 2 i cap minus j cap plus 2 k cap and vector b is equal to minus i cap plus j cap minus k cap find the unit vector in the direction of the vector a plus vector b so first we have to find the vector a plus vector b so here vector a plus vector b is equal to 2 i cap minus j cap plus 2 k cap and vector b is minus i cap plus j cap minus k so here the coefficient of i 2 minus 1 i cap then j is minus 1 plus 1 Then coefficient of k two minus one k cap. So two minus one that is one i cap. Then plus one minus one get cancel. This will be zero. Then plus k cap. So vector a plus vector b is equal to i cap plus k cap. So here they have given. Uh, to find the unit vector in the direction of the vector a plus vector b, so the unit vector formula is a cap is equal to vector a divided by magnitude of vector a. But here we are finding the in the direction of the vector a plus vector b. So this will be vector a plus vector b divided by magnitude of vector a plus vector b. So here vector a plus vector b value is i cap plus k cap. Now we have to find the magnitude of vector a plus vector b. Magnitude of vector a plus vector b is equal to one square plus one square. That is one plus one is two. So this is magnitude of vector a plus vector b. now the unit vector the unit vector in the direction of the in the direction of the vector a plus vector b is so here vector a Plus vector b divided by magnitude of vector a plus vector b is there. Now substitute the value. Vector a plus vector b is equal to i cap plus k cap divided by magnitude of vector a plus vector b is square root of two. That is one by root two into i cap plus one by root two into k cap. So this is the unit vector in the direction of the vector a plus vector b. The next one.
extension of the vector
suppose this is vector A and this is vector B. Means these two vector should be parallel to each other. And irrespective of their magnitude and direction. So here they are given two vectors. Given, consider this one vector A. That is 2 i cap minus 3 j cap plus 4 k cap. And the second one vector b is equal to minus 4 i cap plus 6 j cap minus 8 k cap. Now these two vectors are collinear means the condition should be vector b is equal to lambda into vector a. So here the lambda means this is scalar. This is scalar. So multiplication of a, or multiplication of a vector by a scalar. That is collinear form. This is a collinear form. Vector B is equal to lambda into vector A. Now check here. Vector B is equal to here the common term is minus 2. Then remaining 2 i cap minus 3 j cap and plus 4 k cap. Right. So vector B is equal to minus 2 as it is. This will be vector A. Vector A is equal to 2 i cap minus 3 j cap plus 4 k cap. In place of this one write down vector A. So vector B is equal to minus 2 into vector A. This will be vector B is equal to lambda into vector A. Therefore, here lambda is equal to minus 2. So, here these two vectors satisfy the collinear. Therefore, therefore, Vector A and vector B are collinear. So this is the collinear form condition. Vector B, B is equal to lambda into vector A. So here lambda value is minus 2. That's why vector A and vector B are collinear. The next one. Square root of 
14. This is the magnitude of vector A. Now find out the direction cosines. So L is equal to. So here x value is coefficient of i that is 1. 1 divided by magnitude of r. Magnitude of r means magnitude of A. That is square root of 14. Then m is equal to y. y means here the coefficient of j is 2. 2 divided by square root of 14. Then n is equal to z. That is 3 divided by square root of 14. So the direction cosines are 1 by square root 14, 2 by root 14 and 3 by root 14. Therefore, the direction, direction cosines of vector A are 1 by root 14, 2 by root 14 and 3 by root 14. So just here you have to find the L, M, N and N values, direction cosine square. the vector cosines of the vector joining joining the points joining the points a 1 comma 2 comma minus 3 and B minus 1 minus 2 1 directed from directed from A to B A to B Magnitude of vector AB that is minus 2 
root square plus minus 4 root square plus 4 square. 4 plus 16 plus 16. So magnitude of vector EB is equal to this will be square root of 36. Right. So here now find the direction cosines of the vector joining the points A and B. So here we know the value of magnitude of half that is magnitude of AB because here the points are directed from A to B is there. Right. So here L is equal to x divided by magnitude of vector AB. Direction cosines are L is equal to x divided by magnitude of vector AB and M is equal to y divided by magnitude of vector AB and N is equal to z divided by magnitude of vector AB. Right. Now substitute the values. So here L, X means here, vector AB, that is minus 2, minus 2 divided by, so square root of 36 value is 6, so magnitude of vector AB is 6, this is L, then M is equal to, Y value is minus 4, divided by 6. And L is equal to plus 4. 4 divided by 6. So here 2 ones are 2 threes are. Then 2, 3, 2, 3. Therefore, the direction cosines are direction cosines are minus 1 by 3. 2 minus 2 by 3 and 2 by 3. So remaining problems we will discuss in next class.